My name is Banha, and today I'll be talking to you about something children learn in mathematics. It is number bonds. What's number bonds? Young children learn by counting real objects, and afterwards they represent the objects using counters, so they may have six counters, and they learn to put the counters into two groups, four in here and two in here. So they learn that six is four and two. Four and two make six. And they go through this series of actions. And six, how else could I break the six up into two groups? Could be one and five. So six is one and five. One and five. That makes six. One and five makes six. And they continue to explore. And after a while, they begin to realize that six can also be three and three. Six is three and three. Three and three makes six. So after a while, they begin to represent what they are doing using symbols. So they'll begin to write six is five and one. Five and one make six. So other than the use of containers and counters, children can also learn about number bonds using counters on 10 frame. So this is a 10 frame, a frame that holds 10 counters, and children will begin to figure out that 10 is also one and nine. One and nine make 10. So where do you look at when you say one? Where do you look at when you say 9? And they begin to figure out that there are other possible combinations of numbers that make 10. And by exploring or through the guidance of an adult, they begin to realize that, oh, 10 can also be 2 and 8. But it could also be other combination of numbers. And after a while, they should realize that by being systematic, they can generate many possibilities of what numbers combine to make 10. So that's another way children learn about number bonds. Number bonds is about how a number is broken up into the component parts and which component parts combine to give us the total. Other materials we can use could be unifix cubes. They are just cubes that can be joined to form a stick like this. So here, the children will begin to realize that in this stick, I have six cubes, and six could be three and three. Three and three make six. Six is two and four. Two and four make six. So the action mirrors the mathematical ideas that they are learning. Six is one and five. One and five make six. 6. We have been looking at one of the mathematical ideas that children learn in school, number bonds. Number bonds is about a number like 6 being made up of its component numbers. 6 is 2 and 4. 2 and 4 make 6. That's number bonds.